and in this video we will talk about how we can configure a backup for any virtual machine so there is a two way you can uh, take backup of virtual machine like uh, first one is the vm full backup in that all the vm the vms including all the disks will be backed up okay and the second one is the, the uh, we will we can perform using the file folder so in the file folder uh, the folder which we want only uh, can be backup so for that we need to configure a agent called mars agent so we will i will uh, prepare a next video you know, for file folder backup so uh, in this video we will talk about only the vm backup so let's proceed and i will show you how do we can configure so for that you just go to the vm and there is an option backup you need to go there so if you are having uh here you will get the recovery service vault uh, name so here we need to uh, set a uh, put the recovery service vault name so basically uh, whenever backup will be uh, triggered it will be uh, available in the recovery service vault only so for that we need to uh, either you can create click on the create new to create a new recovery service vault either you can select the existing one if you are having the existing one so i'm um, here i'm creating a new one need to cl click on the create new or if you are having the existing recovery ser service vault available you need to select here so in my case i will be create a new vault so for that you just need to mention the recovery service vault name here okay and here you need to choose the resource group okay so basically uh, and here you need to uh, ch check the uh, means the added the policy so here is the backup policy actually uh, this policy will be triggered like uh, whenever you are want to take backup of the vm that only that time the backup will be trigger so here is two option available like uh, daily and the weekly so as per your dependency you can choose here and here you check the timing so i'm going to choose four four pm and i'm going to choose the location india okay so here you will uh, get the uh, basically uh, there uh, there will be a, a retention range here you need to choose like if you uh, there is a, a multiple retention range yeah, people like for the daily backup my weekly backup and the monthly and the yearly as well so if you want to means uh, if you want to uh, delete the old backup after completion of 30 day you can select here or you can, if you want to uh, delete the now uh, backup after a week so you are here you need to mention the week and the day where when you want to put that so in my case i will i am putting here the daily backup if you want to return uh, put the retention in the monthly you can select here or if you want to put in the yearly you can select here okay and so i'm now i'm going to click okay so as you can see here the policy is now populated so now i'm going to uh, click on the enable backup so once you uh, create a backup policy and uh, you will get the full backup details means the policy detail so as you can see here the policy uh, daily for 4 pm i in the indian national trade and here is the uh, retention of a snapshot so basically it will it will create a, a snapshot along with the, the vault uh, backup so there is two uh, backup is available 
uh, first one is the uh, vault uh, and uh, second one is the uh, uh, snapshot so if you want to uh, means uh, uh, retain that uh, snapshot after two days it will be happen after two days so and here is the return retention date uh, timing for that uh, entire backup 10 days okay so i'm now i'm going to click on enable backup so as you can see here in the timing uh, currently of uh, 348 is going on so the backup will be triggered uh, at 4 pm in the indian standard time so once the job is so basically it's it has created my uh, new vault as you can see here and the policy as well which is a de daily policy So finally uh, the job got completed so now I'm going to resource so actually I'm now going to the VM and going to the backup so as you can see here uh, we are getting a backup or uh, last backup status uh, warning since we have not yet uh, initial the backup is not yet uh, initiated that's why we are getting the warning option so it will be triggered as per the defined uh, backup policy timing you can also go to the vault and check uh, whether the backup item uh, in the backup item you will get the vm name available so ha here you can check azure virtual machine and as you can see here the vm name is populated here so, so this is all about how you can configure a full a full vm backup for any azure virtual machine using the recovery service board so hope this video is really helpful to you so please subscribe my channel and like this video thank you so much